via a tweet that I put out this weekend and deleted straight away once I reread it and realised that it could cause offence. I put out a tweet or retweeted a video of the violence, uh, the terror, the chaos that was happening on the streets of London. And within that tweet, I mentioned the BLM and the EDL and the word scum. Now, at no point was I calling the BLM scum and comparing the two organisations. I just want to make that really, really clear. The uh, word scum was used to describe the people in the video that were violent, that were causing terror um, on the streets of London and setting a bad example for our future generation. Um, I was angry and um, I just wanted to get that tweet out to say that that was unacceptable. Um, for those of you that know me, I am a people's person. I love people. I'm anti-racist um, and I'm anti-violence having lived and seen what violence does to people and uh, cities and countries um, and so on and so forth. So I apologise if my tweet came across as offensive. I never meant for that. I'm here to push positive change. I'd just like to clarify a tweet that I put out this weekend and deleted straight away once I reread it and realised that it could cause offence. I put out a tweet or retweeted a video of the violence, uh, the terror, the chaos that was happening on the streets of London. And within that tweet, I mentioned the BLM and the EDL and the word scum. Now, at no point was I calling the BLM scum and comparing the two organisations. I just want to make that really, really clear. The uh, word scum was used to describe the people in the video that were violent, that were causing terror um, on the streets of London and setting a bad example for our future generation. Um, I was angry and um, I just wanted to get that tweet out to say that that was unacceptable. Um, for those of you that know me, I am a people's person. I love people. I'm anti-racist um, and I'm anti-violence having lived and seen what violence does to people and uh, cities and countries um, and so on and so forth. So I apologise if my tweet came across as offensive. I never meant for that. I'm here to push positive change. I'd just like to clarify a tweet that I put out this weekend and deleted straight away once I reread it and realised that it could cause offence. I put out a tweet or retweeted a video of the violence, uh, the terror, the chaos that was happening on the streets of London. And within that tweet, I mentioned the BLM and the EDL and the word scum. Now, at no point was I calling the BLM scum and comparing the two organisations. I just want to make that really, really clear. The uh, word scum was used to describe the people in the video that were violent, that were causing terror um, on the streets of London and setting a bad example for our future generation. Um, I was angry and um, I just wanted to get that tweet out to say that that was unacceptable. Um, for those of you that know me, I am a people's person. I love people. I'm anti-racist um, and I'm anti-violence having lived and seen what violence does to people and uh, cities and countries um, and so on and so forth. So I apologise if my tweet came across as offensive. I never meant for... Hello, Ant Middleton, another victim of the insidious mindset and self-censorship we see so much today. The video you've just watched is of Ant Middleton apologising to Black Lives Matter after referring to them as scum. He also referred to the EDL as scum in the same Twitter post he's now deleted, but that didn't matter. In fact, had you just called the EDL scum and left Black Lives Matter alone, you'd have probably been applauded. But you made the cardinal sin, an innocent error of attacking, not Black Lives Matter, they're just the criminal proxy of the insidious mindset. You've challenged the insidious mindset of which Black Lives Matter is just a criminal proxy that enforces it by um, terror and violence. You've challenged the insidious mindset because the insidious mindset doesn't want that, right? The insidious mindset is a liberal leftist Marxist mindset. It has no leaders. 
It has no HQ, but it has legions of supporters, followers, disciples, troops that it can mobilize at the click of a mouse. How it's achieved this is literally devilish, I don't know, right? People are scared now to post on Facebook in case the friends don't like it and they're deemed racist or whatever. The friends don't like them. We've now got it in uh, every aspect of life where people are now apologizing, they're retracting, they're, 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 they've realized what's happened once the insidious mindset mobilizes its troops in the form of Black Lives Matter and so on and so on. So it's all, it's created this terror, right? And like I've said, attacking Black Lives Matter is really not the issue here. There's a bigger agenda, which is the insidious mindset. The insidious mindset wants to bring down Western civilization. It wants to destroy all our past, all our statues, all our history, everything. And if it has its way, it lavers on our knees, begging for forgiveness over slavery hundreds of years ago. Black Lives Matter, and if I may, is just a criminal proxy of the insidious mindset. Also, what the insidious mindset has achieved, which is literally unbelievable, is self-censorship. Everyone's self-censoring them, self-censoring themselves now, right? You've just did it in the video. And how it's achieved this, I don't know. But how long is it going to be before you can't look at someone for more than five seconds or you'll be accused of racial profiling? How long is it going to be before we can't say anything? And this is a mindset that's enforcing this terror. Boris Johnson, all of them, they're all terrified of the insidious mindset. They know its power. They all agree with Black Lives Matter, except the violence. They can't come out and say that, right? Now, given Black Lives Matter and its followers desecrated memorials and statues, and it's a Marxist leftist outfit, that doesn't seem to matter, does it? No, because the insidious mindset in the media is reinforcing it. You see, you can't challenge the uh, insidious mindset, but it's hard because it's based on emotion, slavery, people's rights and liberties. It's hard to challenge it. I'm just reading your book now, and the fear bubble and how you used fear to overcome uh, fear in dangerous situations in your special uh, forces uh, career, how you've helped other people to use it, like that young kid, Lucas, but you couldn't use the fear bubble to challenge the insidious mindset, could you? No. You've made a, an innocent, naive error, but it could have been one that could have seen the end of your TV career and books uh, being sold in Waterstones. Because like I've said, and I've, I've articulated this as best I could, uh, you weren't attacking Black Lives Matter. When you said Black Lives Matter was scum, you were attacking the insidious mindset. It's liberalism, it's leftism, it's Marxism. And don't forget, Black Lives Matter are scum, they're Marxist scum. They not only hate the police, they hurt all our past, all our history, all our heritage. They'll drag every statue down, they'll have us on our knees, beg a veneer, mercy, mercy over slavery. But also, they hate the military as well. They're, and especially special forces that served in Northern Ireland. So you're quite right, and in labeling them scum, because they are scum. Okay, thank you.